I just literally, I, 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 I had this urge to come in here and talk, and I can't even remember why, to be honest. It could have been Administrator Ludovico. Uh, it could have been anything. But you are one of the major players. I, your name was in my head, therefore I knew of you. Ergo, I needed to speak to you. It only makes sense. Understandable. A man of my standing would naturally be tied up in all this, whether he wishes to be or not. Now then, did you need anything else? No, just just obviously to run around your... Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. So we're looking for clues, and he has given us permission. And there was a timeline discrepancy around here. What is that? Sound of something. Necklace, don't think that's important. All right, well, let's check his office. Okay, I better take this out without pointing at someone, otherwise Felix drop kicks them. Something over there. I don't need the violet one. Oh. This copy of TK contains 142 fewer pages than a standard copy. The missing pages were likely removed to create sufficient space for the hidden listening device inside. <laughs> uh, engineering 70. Short range transmission capabilities. The receiver must be somewhere nearby. Ooh, yes. You figured that out just by looking at it? Huh. We ought to talk shop one of these days. Excuse me. Inspector, please consider speaking into the device in order to trace the transmission and reveal the receiver's location. Speak into the bug. Whoever's listening, I'm co No! <laughs> Moo! Poor woolly cow impression transmitted. Oh, sure. Transmission analysis complete. While the precise location of the receiver could not be pinpointed, it has been narrowed down to a smaller, approximate range. And how long has it been here? Analysis inconclusive. However, there is a minor accumulation of dust particles present on the book's uppermost surface. Examine the dust. 98.3% of the dust particles are less than 500 micrometers in diameter. Shh, okay. Thanks. This unit is glad to have been of service, Inspector. Examine the surrounding area. The area within a 0.5 meter radius of the book possesses a dust coating comprised of at least twice the number of particles. Okay, so the book was placed quite recently in comparison to, you know, the last time it was cleaned. This place was cleaned, then the book was placed. All right, okay. Wild guess. The book was planted roughly a week before Helen's death. No, it's not very dusty then. Must have been placed fairly recently. That is highly likely, Inspector. Conclude examination. What's that you found? No, wait. Don't tell me. Let's save it for the big reveal once you've solved the case. I like him. He's probably the bad guy. Um, was there anything else? No. Okay, so. We I, I completely forgot that I was wearing the thing that gave me more medical... Um, what was I, what was I saying? Right, um, find the bug's receiver. Question, Ella Tinsley about the missing cargo. We need to talk to Ella Tinsley. We also need to find the bug's receiver. And we were going to find that over there. Okay, so this one is talking to somebody. This is the, the receiver. And we've got to go over there for another, uh, to find the smuggling cargo. My God. God, we got too many things to do here. You know that. Too many things to do. Is it just easier to go out here? 
Probably. Is there a way down? Is there not a... I'm too lazy to take stairs. Bad and too stupid. Whee! Right. Shouldn't we tell him that there's a... No, he did say... He did say... Save it for the big reveal, didn't he? I mean, he, he's his own worst enemy if he... Wanted to know. So, right. Do I want to go and check on the bug, talk to the person, or... There's a little side of me. Where was it? The two rows. I kind of want to go get the... It, uh, Am I wrong for wanting to do this before I solve the murder? You see, the way I'm thinking this, uh, thinking about this is everything's connected. Hmm? We're going for the holistic approach here. Yes? Call me Dirk Gently. So going for the obvious clues, i.e., you know, who's bugging him to find the nefarious intent there. Instead, we just go for something completely unrelated and that will eventually lead us to the killer, you see? That, I believe, is the theory of the holistic detective methodology. So, yeah. And, oh no, wait a minute, wait, 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 right, 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 right. Cassidy suggested looking for an employee or inventory record to help locate the smuggled cargo. But, did she suggest looking for it in here? Because that seems unlikely. Right. I have a feeling... Oh no! Ah ha ha! I'm in the wrong building! It's actually over there. Right. Wow, this place is a little bigger than I thought. All right, and I need to be turning left and going through here, I believe. Auto mechanical looter. Was it around here? No. It's over there. How do I get over there? Ha ha ha! It's like a little maze. We will go and see security in a little while. Hello. Hello? You one of the new workers? A lost tourist? Wait, I don't care. Just don't knock anything over. Okay. There's a package I'm looking for. Okay, yeah, you'll do. Came from the Rat King. Do you know where it is? Sure do. Why are you interested in it? You authorized? Not that I care, but something untoward happens, it'll be my ass on the line. I mean, I've got more money than sense. Not that that's hard, but honestly... I'd say that's suspicious. But I don't get paid enough to give a damn. I, I'm going to come back with some authorization, right? I'm going to find some authorization. Got a couple of questions for you. Hey, if it meant I could ignore my work, I'd let you talk to me about spread reproductive practices. Ask away. Okay. How do you how do you manage the shipping yard? This terminal makes it pretty easy to match a ship's cargo to its manifest. Ah, ha! If it ain't on the terminal, then it's someone else's problem. What's so bad about managing a bunch of cargo? Nothing. I just hate working. Fair enough. Figured it wouldn't last. Anything else? No, no, no. I'm, I'm good for now. I will be back. I am investigating various thing things. Spaceport security protocol checklist. Wait for docking procedures to finish, including ship captain wiring their docking fee. 
Greet the captain of the docked ship and request their docking fee. If repeat visits are charged, double the docking fee will not be contacted in advance. Retrieve cargo manifests, charge a flat percentile based tariff on each piece of cargo, charge double if captain was surly. If captain complains for any reason, call slug fixers. Offer cargo insurance for a 5,000 bit fee. If captain declines, notify slug fixers to rearrange their cargo later. Retrieve loading mechanicals to move cargo to shipping yard. 7. Open the inspect cargo. Open and inspect cargo. Anything not mentioned in cargo manifest, including stowaway, vermin, or additional cargo, imparts a 2,000 bit fine per round of cargo, individual animal found. If no additional unmentioned cargo is found, plant your own. Okay, excellent protocols. I was sort of hoping maybe there'd be some sort of ID or. You know. Apparently not. Armor? Parts? Nothing here. Right. So. Master! I'm not even going to try and say the last part of that. Good luck with your finals. Here they come! Oh! No! Dude, dude, sorry, sorry, I did not know you were looking! Score one for Felix! I didn't know you were looking! I was just. I'm up. Kill him. That, that was like, like, like. I was just <sighs> hacking skill. Oh, we don't even have the hacking skill for this. We don't even have the guys. Seriously. Oh. Inspecting stuff, remember? Oh uh, gosh, that's clever. Hunting rifle. Uh, nope. Okay. It's pronounced Master T. Okay, Master T, good luck with your finals. Why are you guys not following me? Follow me, follow me, follow me. Oh, smuggle car. Let go. I wanted this. Oh, shit. I'm gonna find you, scumbag. Okay. Someone's trying to find us. Oh, I just thought. I probably should have got changed for the whole ninja thing, shouldn't I? Like. Like I should have, I should have thought to myself, "Hey, you're about to do something exceptionally stupid and stealthy. Get, get stealthy." Because like now, now I'm actually pretty, I'm pretty, I'm pretty damn sneaky now. See, so, yeah, look at that. Maybe we wouldn't have had to have, you know, accidentally. Supposed to be here. Oh, shh. go, 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 go. That person can't see us because they're looking at the wall. But they are looking at that wall with that sort of determination you get that someone knows somebody's there. Nicely done. Sketchy low pressure suit. Cigarette light. All right. I'm not sure we're going to find any clues to the murder or anything like that over here, so. 
Okay. Okay, let's just let's just get out of here. Let's get out of here. Yeah. I still can't believe we killed what's his name. I also can't believe he just came out and attacked us. We just we stepped into the wrong place very briefly. Very, very briefly. Just like there's a minor misunderstanding. And then he just lays into us. And the man didn't want to do any work anyway. And now... Oh, well, we've already got the cargo, so I don't really need to hack that. But still! St okay, well, fine. I guess I shouldn't worry too much. He did attack us for just stepping. I mean, literally stepping in there. I'm an inspector. I'm inspecting things. I'm inspecting things. Occasionally, I need to inspect things that are in places where nobody wants me to inspect. Well, tough. That's the whole inspecting business. We inspect everything. See, I'm inspecting whatever this is. It is a toilet. Kind of awful looking one at that. Right, okay. See? Those toilets are terrible. They've been inspected. They're bloody awful. Okay. Right. Oh. Can we not just... No, it wasn't you we're supposed to take it to, is it? We're supposed to take... We're now supposed to take it to... Oh, no. I've got to find out where the hell it's supposed to go. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. You're back, I see. Hope the law hasn't caught on to what you're doing. Law meaning authorities, mm. that is, not the forces running the universe. Uh, one of them might have noted. Uh, what do you do to get arrested anyway? This is going to sound a little stupid, but I got a thing about mechanicals. Don't like the way they move or the sounds they make. Gives me the creeps. I was drinking with Dash in the cantina when a funny looking one trotted up beside us. Seemed like it was some kind of monster. So I started yelling, banging on it. Don't know what happened next, but I think it involved another mechanical. I passed right out then, and when I woke back up, I was here. Not the most graceful thing I've ever done. You freaked out and picked a fight, a bar fight with a mechan- Okay, never mind. I got the cargo, what's next? No complications? Uh, Grant. Um. The recipient is Joseph Dempsey. He runs the Eridanos Dry Goods and Sundry. Yeah, okay. One delivery coming up. Yeah, and he was... I mean... <laughs> okay, nobody... Nobody seems to care, do they? Nobody cares. A man died in the line of duty at that. He was protecting his cargo, even though he didn't need to, because I was, of course... Perfectly and utterly reasonably investigating the place. This is all part of my investigation, you see. All part of my investigation. Hello, person who tried to have me killed. Welcome back. The Eridanos Dry Goods and Sundry is just as standard and unremarkable as when you left it. Yes. I got the shipment of something for you. Should I have checked what the something was? Probably. Welcome, minion. Thank you, Bean Grater. A shipment, you say? The only shipment I'm expecting is 100 pounds of saltuna a week from now. And I certainly don't expect it to be brought by an inspector. Oh, uh, this isn't the standard delivery. These are quality goods, if you catch my meaning. Oh, no, who's an inspector? It's just an... I'm just an unremarkable, regular delivery person. Right. And I'm Halcyon Helen's sidekick, Buster B. Bartholomew even though he gets shot in the head in the fourth episode of Terran Monarch. The spaceport is usually a tourist destination, but the lockdown has interrupted that, meaning fresh faces stick in my head. That, and I like keeping my information up to date, which is normal for a storekeep, obviously. You're trying to have me killed, would you please? I'm tempted to go. If this isn't supposed to go to you, I'll guess I have to keep it myself. Okay, no, no. I might be investigating Halcyon Helen's death, but I'm no constable. You can trust me. Trust me. Tell me all the secrets. An independent, huh? Yes. 
be a big risk letting you into my sanctum. You should do Though it. Though if you're telling anyway. the truth, I think it'd be more than worth it. All right. Follow me to the back. Ooh. Okay. <gasps> All right. Wait, uh... So, as you can see, this actually ain't the most standard and unremarkable general store this side of Halcyon. Welcome to my black market. Whatever you're here for, weapons, information, contraband, cane and ointment, I've got it. Sorry I'll for the frosty reception. Had to make sure ointment. you weren't with the constable. <laughs> but seeing how you're a freelancer, I hope I ain't got nothing to worry about. Uh, well, right, I suppose we'll have to see. Nice place you got here. Can I peruse your way? Yes! Can I peruse your... Uh, you know you won't. I'm, I can be trusted. Good. A worthy freelancer is hard to find. Since you're in the know, you can access my black market stocks. Though, you'll have to come by later. I'm waiting on my next shipment. Oh. Here's your pay. Good doing business with you. Especially seeing how you didn't take this to the constable. Would have been a mighty pain in my tail end. Right. Since I... Uh, uh, can I see what's in the box? Can I see what's in the box? Show me what's in the box. See? No. But I might tell you what's in it, so long as it's nothing proprietary, volatile, or breathing. Let's have a little look. Contraband weapon parts, a few chemicals for the crafting of high explosives. All fairly standard. Oh, and a canister of trimethyl sulfoxide. Where dimethyl sulfoxide is good at keeping folks in stasis, trimethyl sulfoxide is nice for helping refrigerators run. Useful stuff. Okay, what have you got in stock? Uh, right now you've got... Onslaught. Hmm, a scythe, an interesting scythe, uh, but... Yeah, I don't think I... Don't think I'm gonna be buying anything, am I? When it... Slug... <sighs> yeah, that would have been, that would have been, that would have been... Wait, I can buy that for nothing. I'll take two! Right, all right. Um, what am I gonna sell you? No, I'm not gonna sell you any of this. I'm. Am I gonna sell you that? Defense skills, crew outfit. I don't have one. I'm keeping it. All right, and then I'm just gonna sell you the junk I've got. Okay, uh, ask for the. Ooh! Ooh, I like your thinking. Do you have. Um. Answer no. Oh! <gasps> Oh, it's only a light machine gun. They look far more impressive when they're on stands. Not that I would use them anyway, but, you know. Huh? Okay. Is that, is that a way into his secret stock? that doesn't involve getting on his good side. Hmm. Huh. Okay, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just... I'm still got, I've still got Inspector Head on. Now, he... There's nothing that says restricted. There's nothing that says restricted, so hopefully I shouldn't get in any fights. Hmm. Okay. And aha! I bet this is a okay. Right, ah, so we could have taken that ladder and gone and visited his back room had we not got the contraband. Okay, so now we've now got access to the black market, but that didn't... Oh. We should meet Dash in the cantina. Yes, that's right. Where was he again? It was here, wasn't it? Let's talk to Dash. Give him the good news. Hope the job's coming along well. No sign of the constable, which really makes me more nervous. 
No, one package of questionable goods delivered and signed for. Excellent. Let's divvy up the payment three ways and we can consider this matter settled. Okay, three ways. I did all the work while you sat on yours. You're lucky to get anything. Yeah, no, I did the job for you. I'm taking the pay. No, 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 fine. No, I, don't. I really don't need money. I probably could do with goodwill and allies and people who can tell me interesting gossip more than anything else. So here you go. Thank the law. Should be just enough to get Cass out of her damn cell. I guess breaking even is better than leaving with your partner in the clink. You might not be Hawthorne, but you can sure resolve a problem like he could. Maybe better. Thanks again for all your help. Anytime, anytime. Remember, next time you have need of a problem to be solved, ask for me. I shall come and solve it with science. Okay. Also, let's just never mention that guy again. I'm sorry. I'm, I, I'm choosing to. I'm choosing to believe that was. That was his way. Of quitting his job. He was obviously miserable. He obviously hated his job. And he saw a way out. He thought, I will pick those three heavily armed people who've just accidentally stumbled somewhere where they probably shouldn't have stumbled, but it's fairly understandable. And I shall viciously attack them, thus ending my awful existence. That's what I'm choosing to believe because nothing else makes sense. The receiver we're trying to track is actually down there, and I'm wondering how we're supposed to do that. Do you think we're supposed to do that with this? Possible. I tell you what, before we do that, why don't we have a little chat with Ella Tinsley about the missing cargo, and that... We'll be talking to someone over there. Right? Yes. Okay. That's... Glad my box hauling days are over. Right. Just keep keep on looking around. Hmm. Telescoping staff mark. Three. <laughs> Do we need to repair anything? I don't actually think we've been... Don't you point whatever that is at me. Point of interest discovered. So many places restricted... Right, this is where we're supposed to be going, I believe, to talk to Ella Ujiwatsit. Okay. Whoop. Hi there. Sorry, this area is off limits to port vision. Oh, wait half a second. You're the inspector. Yes, I am. Sorry about that. I'll buzz you right in. Well, thank you very much. That was remarkably easy and did not involve having to kill anyone, which is. Okay. Hey, you think they keep any spare parts down here? Just wondering. You want to go and loot everything? Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. I feel like a real sleuth. Is fight night still on then? Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Yes, I know. I'm way ahead of you. Ooh. Okay. Sprat of unusual size. Souse. Yes, thing? Has been in contact with multiple 
parasites, yet shows no symptoms of infection. Medical subject sprats do have highly adaptive immune systems. Hmm, that's true. An excellent point, Inspector. I'm an excellent the point maker. The immunological subsystem found in sprats is advantageous in fending off parasites, pathogens, and other biological threats. Okay. Why is this sprat so big? That's a good question. A cursory analysis of this organism's anatomy suggests it was bred deliberately for its unusually large size. What would anyone want? What would anyone want an unusually large sprat for? Okay, that's a bit of a daft question, but I'm going to ask it anyway. Based on slug records of board-issued punitive sanctions against sublight salvage and shipping, this sprat is most likely intended for cage fighting. Okay, I was actually thinking perhaps they were going to put a saddle on it and ride it around. My idea is cooler. Okay. Wouldn't be sublight without a discreet gambling den. All it. Okay, this looks like an illegal weapon that needs to be confiscated all in. Okay, sometimes when the chips are down, all you can do is take a chance and go all in. Okay. It's uh, it's it's what is it? What? What is it, apart from a big gun? It is a, a, a heavy weapon, a heavy machine gun. I feel like I want to try it out. Purely for scientific research purposes, obviously. Rum and something. Yeah, do not need any of that. Okay. Remember not to look at anybody when taking out this weapon. Hey there, little buddy. Okay. This one looks a little tired. Or bored. Hard to tell. Not a... Not a sprat expert. Okay, who am I supposed to be finding? Wait! Maybe this N-ray warning isn't decorative. Okay. What was he freaking out at? What was he freaking out? Okay, so... We are supposed to be talking to... Somebody that way. Ooh. Okay, right, and no wait. I'm... Am I in the wrong place? Did I just come to the wrong bloody place? Lord of the I've got to ask foreman as sublight freight storage and processing. Where are we now? Freight st We're on a ground floor. How do we go up a floor? I'm sorry. Surely... Ah! Oh. Find the ramp. Ah, uh, I'm so used to elevators. Find the... R uh, hello. We're not allowed in there, are we? Oh. It goes to the spaceport to a place we're not supposed to be. Hi, we've probably um, come to see you. Okay. Interesting place you have here. Hello, Ella Tinsley. You're the inspector, aren't you? Boskin Cannon said you'd be by about the cargo that's been going missing. Yes. Gosh, this is so neat. A real-life inspector. What's that like? Have you solved any mysteries yet? Oh, Never lots. had to shoot a suspect? Mm, unfortunately, I'm afraid. Well, shoot. Yeah. Does hitting them with a big hammer count? Uh, why don't we focus on stopping these cargo thefts? What, have you never shot someone? I've had to take down a few... 
but I'd call it closing a case, and it's the best part. To the no, it's a little bit. No, I've had to take a few of these perps down, yes. <gasps> perps? Totally. Just like a real inspector. That's me. Right, so the missing cargo. How can I help your investigation? What's the culprit been stealing? That's the weird part. There's no pattern, far as I can tell. The thefts don't make sense. I ask you, who would steal a handful of Spacer's Choice Sabers, so dull they can barely cut mud, but leave the spectrum black? Ugh. Who'd be desperate enough to want to steal a Spacer's Choice Saber, full stop? People who are in their spare time doing amateur dramatics and reconstructing some serial drama or some historical battle with swords. Hmm? See? I've solved it. Either that or it's the Sprats. The criminal mind is strange and unknowable. Low class scum who can't tell Spectrum Black from a Nana Spank. I have no idea. Sounds like our perps not fencing the stolen cut. <laughs> yes. Yeah, probably not. No one's dumb enough to think Spacer's Choice Sabers yeah. are worth half a damn. Fencing? Then there's the most recent theft. Five sabers, boxes fencing. of pens and a couple of sodas. I can't decide which one's sadder. Five boxes of pens, a couple of sodas. That's both. Both are sadder. Maybe our perp is desperately low on ink. So our perp is, pause, desperately low on ink. Okay, uh, why are the? T I'm, j I'm going to. I'm going to do the dramatic pause. So our perp is desperately low on ink. That's probably not their motive. No. Who has access to the cargo? Everyone here at freight storage and processing. She's no for a start. Thing is, the cargo is going missing before the shipments even get to the warehouse. Best I can figure. It's probably getting lost in the shipping yard. Okay. As for who has access there, Benton Chan, he's the shipping yard manager. He told me it's mainly just the loading automex that handle cargo. Okay, I do hope it's not him, because if so, we're going to have a hard time interrogating him. Maybe there's a problem with the automex. Could Benton... Could Benton have anything to do with it? Nah, Benton's too lazy for crime. The extra work would kill him. Last time I asked him to check That's the auto more next, true than you the whole head told me he couldn't help because he was dead. Uh, uh, hard to argue with that, though. I mean, if he is dead. Yeah, especially when he kept shouting, Dead people can't hear anything! At me. God, don't... On the bright side, I'm sure the dead won't mind if you decide to check those loading auto mechs out yourself. Right, no, well, that's Hopefully, very true. you're mechanically inclined. Yeah, yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, mm. Oh, before I forget, I figured you might want to access my terminal, so I had a spare key card made. It's all yours. Oh! Which... Anything that I should know about? Anything on that I should know about? Oh, no. I forgot to delete all of those incriminating messages I sent about which cargo to steal. I'm sorry, did you just, nah. just develop a sense of humor? I do have a list of, of cargo that's gone missing, though, if that helps any. Oh, no, that does. That helps tons. That helps tons, tons, absolutely tons. That's not... Sorry, I'm looking for clues. Definitely, that's all I'm doing. Looking. Are there any clues in here? Did... Okay, our insert, insert form and terminal keycard. Um, incoming. From B Chan, subject Ari, it happened again. Pens, soda. I've never understood where you get the energy to care about this stuff, Tinsley. I don't know what to tell you. Pretty much the only ones that handle any cargo are the auto mechanicals. You can come and look at them if you want, but even if I had better things to do than help you exact justice on a void damned pen thief. Okay, Benton. Right, return to messages. Oh, no. Okay, from B Chan, subject, seriously, dot, 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 question mark. Ella, tell whoever snuck over the shipping yard and messed with the loading auto mechanicals to go to hell, will you? Those things break down as it is, and I'll be damned if I'm going to haul cargo around myself. All right. Okay, outgoing. To B. Chan, subject malfunctioning auto mechanicals. 
Um, in that case, there must be a problem with the Automex. I'll swing by when I can and see what's malfunctioning beside you. Alright. Wait a minute, Pence, so I don't understand you get energy. Here we go. We're missing cargo again, just random crap. This time we lost five boxes of blue pens and a couple of purpleberry sodas. I can't see a pattern. We got all those dead eye MK2s in the other day, and not one of them went missing. So it's not like the skimmer's going for the most expensive cargo. As far as I could tell, crap's getting skimmed from the crates before they make it inside freight storage and processing. Could someone be breaking into shipping yard at night, you think? So, wait, wait, wait. Five boxes of blue pens. Okay. Okay, but you have to admit it, it's a little funny to see an automech dance. Not my fault, they're so damned easy to hack. Seriously, a primal could do it. I probably couldn't, unfortunately, unless I... Uh, we could. This could be a job for Hackman. Missing cargo. Okay, let's have a look. Here's a list of what's gone missing so far. See what I mean about there not being a pattern. Eight cases of purple berry punch. Two boxes of blue pens. Sixteen pallets of cacao milk. Three hundred small portrait images. Woolrich S. Add I shipping instructions handled with care. Law, would I like to fold these in half? Three Mark VII cranial protectors. Seven sets protective clothing with safety harness. Two cases lemon schlap. Ten cases, sorry, ten spaces choice sabers. Twenty-five cases of blasting agents. Three boxes of dark matter. Is there a mathematical thing I'm not seeing here? Wait, 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 wait. No. Hmm, because we got two boxes of pens, but we've also got two... Ca uh, I'm... Uh... I ask you, Benton, who would steal Nana Spank, let alone pictures of Spencer Woolrich? If the thief wasn't skimming from Cedric King Cannon, of all people, I'd figure they were doing it for kicks and giggles. Yeah, okay, that's a little bit weird. Inside voices. She's not lucky, is she? I mean... I mean, she's definitely not looking, so I mean, like... like Incriminating. All right, then. So, we now need to go out and check the auto mechanicals. Thing is, I now have an ID. Can I, can I use that? There we go. I was going to say, are we not? Okay. Hmm. We need to check the auto mechanicals over there. Okay, 
Okay, you two scared me half to death, just so you know. Do, 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 do. Oh. Okay. All right. So that reset it. Nice. Could you two stop grunting? Stop it. Okay, seriously, I mean it. Stop grunting. You're also out of disguise, and yet you're still there. Right. Um, We need to be over there. Hmm. So... I think that's what we need to be. Let's just have a quick look at my even... No, the play. Okay, uh, no, that's a different thing. That's a different thing, yes. You've discovered a listening device in Cedric's office. Oh. Hmm. So we're still, we're just still heading over there. Ah, okay, so. Basically, we can go and maybe check the auto mechanicals, but. There doesn't seem to be any, like, specific thing saying, ooh, go check the auto mechanicals. Yeah. What was that? Here they come! I, I'm sorry, what? 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 Why? What? I need cover! Why? What? No, I'm sorry. What? What? Disguise for what? 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 I'm sorry. What is going on? We're not in a restricted area anymore. We're not in a restricted area anymore. How do I? No, it's not that. How do I hoof? I forgot how I hoofed. Why are we? I'm sorry. What? Is this whole area now out of bounds to us? It wasn't out of bounds earlier. Why is it out of bounds now? What? 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 The, I just... No. What? What is going on? We're trying to find the whereabouts of the device's receiver, which is over... He, maybe because you should. We no no no. They shot us first. Oh, that's the last of him. Okay, well that is unfortunately gonna mean we're fighting everybody else from Slug now, which I don't. I don't understand. I do not understand what the hell just went on. I wanted to, to investigate the auto mechanicals that were not working. Are you in it? No, this is not a restricted area. This area was where we were before. Now, granted, we did accidentally go into the, well, nip into the restricted area and he picked a fight with us. But why did that guy get all tweaked out and then no one else is tweaked out? What the hell? Slug's got a cozy operation here. Right. But I'm trying to find... Right, this is what I'm assuming where we're supposed to be. Maybe because you killed Benton. But again, Benton did attack us, right? But then no one else attacked us. How do they know we killed Benton? Nobody else attacked us. We've just been walking around talking to slug people non-stop. Okay, that's just too weird. That's too weird. All right, uh, you discovered a... While the discrepancy amplifier couldn't identify the exact whereabouts, the device's receiver, it was able to narrow down the general location, which was... It's like the groundbreaker. It smells like ah, home, you know? one of the toilets. <laughs> Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Oh god, no. Transmission endpoint discovered. 
The receiver in this book matches the transmitter to the listening device found in Cedric's office. It's somewhat grime-covered. I... Okay. Any clues as to who put it there? Due to the high level of foot traffic in this area, this unit is unable to determine who placed the device. How long has it been here? Based on the accumulated mix of sludge and detritus, the receiver has been present since approximately a week before Helen's death. So somebody was sat here listening to King Cannon's office while sat on the toilet. Or... Investigate the shipping yard auto mechanicals. Well, I was going to. I was on my way to bloody well do that. But, like, like. Oh, okay. You know what? Inspector, this loading auto mechanicals programming does not match factory default settings. The standard defensive protocol has been modified to include an additional trigger. Let me guess, to dance. Um, define standard defensive protocol. For type K-19 cargo transport auto mechanicals, defensive protocol is triggered by attempted interference with cargo or its transportation or attempted destruction of the unit. Once triggered, defensive protocol targets the perpetrator and applies lethal force until the target has been deceased for a minimum of three minutes. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It, it keeps shooting them for three minutes after they've died. Or crushing them, or whatever. Okay, identify the new trigger. There is a directive in place to initiate defensive protocol should an unsanctioned data log installed in this auto mechanical be removed. It's supposed to kill someone if an unsanctioned data log gets removed. Okay. Scan for signs of unusual behavior. Slug auto mechanical maintenance records indicate this particular unit is frequently reported as out of position or missing for periods of time. Let's have a look inside this auto mech. Does that count as triggering its defense thing? Lockpick. Unlock the Automex access panel. Inspiration. Could you disable the failsafe? Should we disable the failsafe before we unlock it? I feel like we should. You got it, Cap. Failsafe successfully disabled. Kill mode deactivated. Woo! Engineering disabled the failsafe. Can I disable it twice? Can we disable it twice? Failsafe successfully disabled. Kill mode deactivated. All right. Mash all the buttons and hope one of them does what you want. <laughs> no. View the most recently added data log. Ejecting data log 17C. Okay. View the most recently added data log. Okay, looks like this automatic has instructions to skim random cargo every one to four days. There was also an instruction to steal a specific package, shipment 6875. Curious. What was in shipment 6875? Apologies. This unit does not have access to cargo inventory lists. Okay, that's... Unit entering standby mode. Have a nice day. Okay, so we got a new data log, and we're looking for cargo something 68 blah 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 blah, right? Return to Cedric and inform that you have solved slum skimming problems. Have I? Okay, wait a minute. Do Ha! Have I? Okay, listening device receiver. Hacked auto mechanical de right, a data back. A data 
log from a hacked auto mechanical showing someone reprogrammed the slug automech to steal cargo from slug. The instructions was to steal shipment 6875 as well as additionally a randomized shipments every one to four days. So it randomized it to throw people off the scent. Okay. So I need to know what's on that shipment. Is there any way I could find out what was on that shipment without having to talk to King... Oh, good grief. Look at all the dead people here. This is really quite embarrassing. Um... I'm trying to think. I would I would definitely need to, to, to bring back Max or uh, Sam, wouldn't I, to get in there. Ella Tinsley might know. That is true. Why does Felix always look so forlorn? Well, that's his natural state, isn't it? Actually, out of curiosity. Black hole birdie murderer of Halcyon Helen? That sounds even crazier out loud than it does in my head. This don't look good for birdie. He's got a temper. He tore up a picnic, and he got so drunk on the night of the murder that he ain't even sure what he did. And after Helen died, he went into hiding? I hate to say this about the hack attack, but I think he might be the killer. Nah. Nah. Yeah, boss? Nah. <sighs> Bertie Holcomb couldn't have killed Miss Helen, right? I don't think so. I, I don't think so. Oh. I'm glad I ain't the only one feeling that way. That's too He's got me. a good heart. He sounded like he was real fond of Miss Helen. I just can't see him hurting her like that. Yeah, and he's just not serial Poor drama guy. enough. I can't imagine what he's going through right now. I mean, I mean, can I imagine that? Like, he's got, unless he's an evil genius underneath. It could be, I suppose. By the way, are you two related? Are you related? Oh, boy. I used to get that question back in the veil. I'll tell you what I told everybody else. Black Hole Birdie Holcomb and I are not related. Probably. Okay. I'm glad I could take you to see Edda Danos. How does it feel? Breathtaking. Have you looked over the edge of the complex yet? Just watch the clouds turning? It's like an ocean without end. Me? <laughs> Sorry. No, no, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's... Oh, yeah, no, totally. It's really something. Absolutely. Eridanos and Olympus are the two biggest planets in Halcyon. King and queen of the sky. Looking out to the horizon, I get this feeling that we're in the company of royalty. Eridanos is a hundred times the mass of Terra 2, a hundred times the volume, ten times the diameter. We're flying through the tiniest layer of habitable atmosphere. Sometimes I can't believe how small my world used to be. My horizons were about as wide as the walls of Edgewater. Yeah, and now look at you on top of the world. Yes! I'm going to be sentimental for this whole trip because I need to... No, no, and now look at you on top of the world. Yeah. <laughs> We've come a long way. Totally. Okay, well, that's 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 all very nice. Not really getting this anyway. Should we go and talk to... Excuse me, excuse me. Let's, let's go talk to Ella Watsi Uji about the shipment, right? And let's try not... Yeah, let's... We've been in here. Mm -hmm. No, I don't believe we have. Okay. Right. Let's go and talk to her and see if she's got any information regarding that shipment. But then we have to go and speak to King Cannon. If, uh, if we can't get any information. Because I'm guessing he knows where that shipment is. And I'm guessing it's going to be important and relevant to our investigation. Hi, Inspector. Hi. About the missing cargo. Yes, about the... No, oh, any hot spaceport gossip I should know about. Keeping your ear to the ground, Inspector? I get it. Oh, I get it. Totally, that's... I heard Bertie Holcomb's over at the Copper Bottom Cantina, if that's exciting to you. I'm more of a Hephaestus Hammers fan myself. Oh, and Burbage 3001 stopped by the warehouse the other day. Needed a replacement part for his synthetic tear dispensing system. I fixed him up. Who's Burb? 
be, I take it you're a Burbage 3001 fan? Am I? I don't know, I was, I was... He's got nothing on Burbage 3000, remember Titus Andro... What, I... No, I'm gonna go with, are you? Heck yes! He's just so shiny and capable and clean. So very clean. Are we talking about cleaning robots? Uh, um, uh, okay, uh, about the missing cargo. Happy to help however I can. Any idea why someone would want to bug Cedric's office? Okay. Maybe they're keen on cashing out and want to go as painfully as possible. I don't know. Boskin Cannon's office is where he holds most of his meetings with important folks like Miss Helen. Just about all negotiations happen in his office, too. Vendor pricing, major purchase orders, rentals for construction projects, you name it. Okay. I mean, what's the cult? I've already... Here's the thing, can I ask you what the cult has been stealing the and then tell part. you about the shipment? There's no pattern, far as I can tell. The thefts don't make sense. I know, I know, I know. I, I... I okay, I don't want to hurry you, would, uh, but I'm going to. Who'd be desperate enough to want to Yeah, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Uh, an idiot. Look. Uh, okay, seriously, really, we're going through this again, are we? The criminal mind is strange and unknowable. Oh, yeah. Any idea? No, I've asked, I've asked all those. Right, no, I'm off, I'm off. Goodbye. Can I check your term? No, oh, there's still nothing. Right, so I, I want to know what that shipment's for. But I don't think I've got... Yeah, I, I, I feel like I'm missing something. I feel like I'm missing something here. I feel like I want to find out what... 6875. 6875. 68... Seven five. Yeah, no, not ringing a bell. Right. Ah, uh, ch check the terminal. We just checked the terminal, guys. We just checked the terminal. The terminal had nothing in it. Close lobby door. You did. What do you mean I didn't check the terminal? I just checked the terminal. I checked the terminal. Oh, you mean check one of the entries that I already checked? Oh, right, right. I think I know. I think I get what you're saying. You're talking about the missing cargo list, right? Ah, no. Good call. Good call. You mean check this? Sorry, I thought you. Th I would thought you meant there might be a new entry on the terminal. There. Ah, okay. Twenty-five cases of blasting agent. Right. Also, dark matter bars. They, they got some chocolate. So basically, explosives and chocolate. They stole chocolate and, and explosives. I'm going to guess the real thing they were uh, stealing was explosives. Because if not, we're looking for someone with one of the more serious chocolate addictions known to man. Okay, can I talk to the black market guy about this? Maybe. Maybe. Okay. And where was he again? He was... He was... Upstairs. All right, let's go talk to him. Let's go talk to him. Was it him? Yes. Greetings again, my friend. Hope you've been keeping free of the yoke of the law. Within reason, that is. Right, yeah, excellent. Ah, uh, how's the... How's the shady dealing treating you? Pretty well, I'd say. Been thinking about expanding my network to include some other shop managers throughout Eridanos. But then I realized that someone could joke that we're... contrabanding together. And I've decided I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> no. I totally agree. Uh, you've got a lot in the way of goods out back. Must have some pretty reliable suppliers. Hey, a good black market owner never reveals their secrets. All I can say is that I get regular shipments from a place that rhymes 
with Smallbrook. Dealing with Sublight behind Sublight's really? back, I'm sure there's something poetic to be said about that, but I'm on the clock. What did you say about a good black market dealer never reveals their sort of... Never mind. Uh, let me see what you've got now. Do you have anything new? All of a sudden, I don't think so. Oh, no, you do. This is all new, but it's also... Crap. Oh, actually. Is this stuff better than the stuff I'm wearing? Probably. I mean, I'm wearing such crap as it is, I suppose it's... I mean, let's have a look at this. I mean, this is 122 and it's been, it's level 38. Greetings again, my f Blah, blah. Get to this bit. Right, um... Whereas this is a, mind you, level 36. I could probably, I could probably make this a little better. And it probably looks a little neater than what I'm wearing. Okay, um, so then that's it then. We're, 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 we're gonna have to go and tell the man that it's explosives that are getting stolen. Or chocolate. Could be chocolate. Inspector. To what do I owe the pleasure? Uh, I solved... The constable is dead. No, I solved your cargo skimming issue. I didn't solve it. Did I solve it? Did I solve it? Ooh, I love this part. The big reveal. So tell me, what happened? You've got a serious security problem. <laughs> what makes you say that? Uh, the culprit is using your uh, automatic camera to skip. Engineer, someone bypassed the loading mech security system and rewired them to skim random goods. Aha! Damn, you're good. Yes. Hacking the automex. So that was our skimmer's game. But why? Everything that was stolen has seemed random. I certainly see no pattern. That's the idea. The culprit didn't want you to. It was a cover-up. No, the theft was random except for a single shipment. So, our culprit had something specific they wished to acquire and used the random theft as a smokescreen. Correct! I must say, Inspector, you've done excellent work on this case. Then that just leaves how the culprit knew where their true target would be, or indeed, that slug would soon possess it. Hand over the receiver. I found this sneak. Check your pocket. <laughs> Re okay. I'm, that's kind of amusing, but also utterly, like, no, really. No, I mean, like, like, it's not even funny, is it? It's not even, it's just not, do it. I mean, dramatically slam the receiver down on the desk. Do, fine, I'll do it. Check your pocket. Okay, that's very impressive. <laughs> Don't ever touch me again. Am I right to I'm think sorry, what I... you found in my office earlier was the other half of this listening device? Sure was. And whoever this device belongs to, that's our culprit. They could hear everything you said in here. Um... Yeah... There's no guarantee it's the same person doing the stealing. They could hear everything you said in here. She, Inspector. She, she could hear everything. Wait, you know whose bug this is? Care to loop me in here? Hey, I'm the Inspector. No figuring out the code bit before I do. Damn it, I better not just be investigating already. Uh, care to loop me in here, yes. The bug belongs to me, Inspector. Oh. I lent it to Halcyon Helen to assist her with role research. And she used it to research slug shipments instead. Unbelievable. I helped her. Gave her whatever she needed. I thought we were doing each other a good turn. I doubt it was personal. You helped her make money for slug, you mean? No good deed goes unpunished, Esther. Cedric. Corporate sabotage. I doubt it was personal. Yeah, you helped her make money for slug, you mean? Yeah, no, I doubt it was personal. This is a betrayal, Inspector. I do not take betrayal lightly. Okay. Helen should consider herself very lucky indeed that she is already among the dead. And that some other bastard beat me to putting her in the ground. 
Dangerous talk for a man under investigation for Helen's murder. Huh. No. But it does seem that we have found your motive, Cedric. Yes, I suppose we have. There is, however, a slight chronological incongruency to it. I now have a motive to kill Halcyon Helen, but Halcyon Helen is already dead. If I'd known Helen was stealing from me, I may very well have killed her, or had her killed. Alas, I did not. Hmm. Or maybe you did know, and this is all a show for my benefit, you see. Oh, that is good, Inspector. Now you are thinking in the manner you must, if you intend to get to the bottom of this mess. I wish you luck with your investigation, though I doubt you'll need it. You'll find Helen's murderer. I'm confident of that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must find a way to excise my anger that minimally damages my business empire. I expect it will involve shooting quite a lot of guns. You're a strange and twisted individual, and yet for some odd reason I feel like I can relate to you. That is extremely worrying.